careers of Steve and Mark Waugh were a fascinating fairy tale which was too good to be true. Steve was a thinker of the game and learned its history, while Mark only saw cricket as a hobby, a pastime to enjoy. A stranger to cricket would never know they were related. They had their separate lives and were probably physically at their closest only when batting together, and even then that was still 22 yards apart. In the field, when catches were taken by Steve or Mark, the brothers never celebrated in a big way. It was merely a quick tap on the sibling's shoulder. They were so awkward in each other's presence. The most interesting war story was how Steve was dropped for Mark to make his debut. Steve came back to his family home and informed Mark he was selected for Australia. When Mark asked who he had replaced, Steve said it was himself. Apparently their mother cried. She need not have. They would go on to represent Australia more than 100 times together. On April 5, 1991, Steve Woe and Mark Woe became the first twins to play together in a test match for their country. To date, they are the game's most celebrated brothers in the world. The impact of Woe brothers on Australian cricket can be measured by the fact that they both featured in late Shane Warne's greatest Australian Test eleven. The War Brothers were the cornerstone of Australia's batting in the 1990s. Steve, the elder twin, made his debut in 1985 in the Boxing Day Test against India. Steve succeeded Mark Taylor as Australia's Test Captain in 1999 and emerged as one of the finest skippers in the history of the game. The brothers' style of cricket was immensely contrasting. It was like war and poetry. Mark Woe was one of the world's most elegant batsmen, whereas Steve was a pure fighter who never gave up. The brothers dismantled 15 years of West Indian dominance in world cricket during the 90s. Coming to Test cricket, Steve's innings of 200 in Jamaica in 1994 against the West Indies is considered one of his most memorable knocks. Mark was instrumental in Australia's Frank Worrell Trophy in West Indies in 1995. The brothers together scored over 18,000 runs in Test matches and over 16,000 runs in ODIs for Australia. One of the highlights of the War Brothers' career was the world record partnership of 464 for the fifth wicket while they play for the New South Wales against Western Australia in the 1990s. And let's not forget, they both could bowl and catch superbly. Steve got the captaincy fairly late in his career and Mark was the occasional vice-captain. Mark had a superb cricket brain. It was unfortunate he didn't have the opportunity to demonstrate his captaincy skills for Australia. Having the twins as captain and vice-captain for a cricket powerhouse like Australia just seemed too romantic. Too good to be true. The elder sibling achieved tremendous success as a captain and led Australia in 15 of their world record 16 consecutive test wins. He led the team in the 1999 ICC Cricket World Cup and lifted the trophy after defeating Pakistan in the finals. In years to come, they will remain Australia's favourite sons, even more so than the chapels. They played their cricket the Australian way, to entertain, and they did so with distinction. The amazing war brothers are still missed decades after retiring.